Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be actually showing you on how to start up your own Discord bot. This tutorial will only show you on how you can do it from the beginning and start up your own Discord bot so that it's actually online on your server. So the first thing you want to do is go to nodejs.org. The link will be in the description, of course. And then what you want to do is click on the uh, recommended for most users installation. Uh, you can also choose the latest feature uh, version if you actually need it. But uh, for discord.js, this is fully fine. So just install the recommended for most users installation. It works with basically everything uh, you need node.js for. So just install this. Click on it. It should get like... A an installation pop up here and once it's downloaded you want to open up the file click next I accept next 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 and next and install and there will be an administrator uh, page you won't see this right now um, but if you try it out yourself, you will see it. You just click on yes, and then it will uh, do its thing and install Node.js. Once that's done, you're going to click on finish. Now you can close off this and go to code.visualstudio.com. And you want to install the Visual Studio Code app. Um, this is basically to write your code in. Also, show you some alternatives, um, and at the end, I'm going to show you where you can actually uh, host your bot, so it won't be on your PC itself, but um, that it's uh, it's like on a different website, but you still have it coded. So like, yeah, hard to explain, but. Go ahead and uh, open up the installation. I'm gonna click on I accept the agreement. Next, next, next. Uh, you can choose some uh, things here. I'm just gonna click next and install. And already close off there. Then we're going to click, uh, like, you need to check this and click on finish. So now Visual Studio Code will be opening up. There'll be a, uh, yeah, th th this should be somewhere like uh, an Explorer file or something. Anyway, uh, now you want to install the discord.js package. To do this, as you can see, if we scroll down here, it'll say node.js version 16.9.0 or newer is required. This, though, this is for the Discord.js 14 version. What we actually want is the third point, uh, like, you can copy the npm install. Um, but we are going to choose the uh, v13 version because it's just way easier to do. So, how, how you guys can do that, basically, go um, right-click here, click on New, and click Folder. Name whatever you want, like bot for example. Then you want to go in it and put like a a, a text document. Name it like uh, I don't know code or something. Then go in it and type in cmd.exe. Then click a file and then save as. Choose your bot folder and save it as code.bat. Then click save. And then you can delete the code.txt. Um, basically, this made a Windows batch file. You can just uh, open this up and it will automatically open up the c command prompt in this folder so you don't have to do like uh, cd, stuff like that. Uh, you can just do uh, cd. Uh, so y you have it in your bot folder thing already. So we want to install the npm install discord.js, but we want to install the 13 version. So add 13. And we'll say stuff like uh, ideal tree and stuff like that. Um, if there are any errors with the NPM, 
Uh, you just Google it. There's a lot of uh, errors there, uh, like error fixes there. If there are warrants, it doesn't matter. Um, the, uh, these notices also don't really matter. You can run this though, which it says here. Just we're gonna actually do that because, like, why not? Boom. Um, and once you've actually installed Discord.js at 13. Uh, what you want to do is type in npm uh, npm init dash y. Boom. So we'll basically make like uh, a, a package dot json for you. And yeah. Now once that's done, we can close off this, uh, and there will be a package dot json file. Now what we're gonna do is right click, click new, and click uh, you know text document, the uh, text document or whatever, and just name it index.js, um, and then it should be a JavaScript source file. You wanna open this up with Visual Studio Code, uh, but I would, what I would recommend you doing is clicking file in Visual Studio Code, file, and click open folder, then navigate to your bot. Sorry. Uh, then navigate to your bot folder, click select folder, and it will automatically open up all the files here. So we have the code.bat file, which doesn't really matter, it's the cmd.exe. We have the index.js and the package.json. Uh, here are all the packages you've installed. In our case, it's um, like we've installed uh, discord.js, but nothing else yet. I'm actually not sure if you have to do npm init-y first. I'm going to try installing it again. You don't have to do this code.bat thing. What you could also do is type it in here. Score.js at 13. Still here as well. And now it should put something in the um, package.json. So you want to first run npm in it y. And after that, you want to um, do the npm install discord.js at 13. It will automatically install the 13.12.0 version, which is um, a very good word, like it works very well. So yeah, um, now you want to go into your index.js and first uh, import discord.js from the package.json. So to do that, you can type in const discord equals to require discord.js, you already see it here and in the options. Uh, then, you can write a semicolon, you don't need to if you import something, but in this case, uh, I'll format this file later, so yeah. Um, now, what you also want to do is like go on uh, discord.com, I'm just going to go to the app thing already. You also want to go on discord.com slash developers slash applications. And click on, and once we're in, we're going to click new application. I'm um, very cool. Click this and click create. Um, you can still change the name after that. Uh, but you can also go on bot right here and click on add bot and click yes to it. This will make the bot itself work. Uh, before that was just an, uh, an application. Now it's an actual bot. So what you want to um, actually do is uh, you can turn off your bot as a public bot. So if people have the user ID of your bot, which they can get if they have developer mode, which you can just enable, um, they would be. There are ways to um, put that bot into your own server. Then, um, if you want this bot to be only on your server, then turn this off. But if you want the bot to be public, then turn this on. Um, this is not, uh, this doesn't really matter, so you can just leave this off. But enable all these three things. And then click on save changes. Then to get the URL, you want to go on OAuth2 and click URL generator. Then what you want to do is go uh, do uh, check the bot and applications.commands. And then just to make sure you don't really break anything or something, just click administrator and we'll grant any like every single command here. Um, not command, permission, sorry. Then you want to copy this link, go paste it in in your browser, 
Um, and you can select any server, so like, uh, I don't really have a server on this account, so I'll just go on Discord.com real quick and create a server myself. It's just going to be a test server, so it doesn't really matter. Um, there we go. In here, uh, we're just going to select the server so you can refresh the page. And then uh, t um, just choose this and authorize and I'm a human. Now as you can see the bot is actually here in on the server. So um, you just made the bot actually work that it's in your server. Now what you want need is the token. So the token is right here. Now um, make sure every time you like for, okay first off never share this token. I'm going to reset this token as soon as I finish the video. Um, do not share this token and in case you share the token on accident, if I click reset token, yes do it. In case you accidentally shared it and someone else might have the token, click on reset token, yes do it. And it will create a different one for you. Um, and it, will, it also has a quite new update, it's been a while now. but. Uh, you can only view it once, and after that you have to uh, reset it and get a new one. But what you want to do is just click here on copy, and uh, then go back on Visual Studio Code. Click here on this new file button, and type in config.json. Right here. So this is a JSON file, which you want to uh, put the token in, so it's stored in a file. So what you want to do is just type these brackets and hit, in and hit enter, and then type token like this, and then put in the token just like this. And that's basically a, you 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 have you've done it basically. Um, so now what you can do is do another line in the index and type in const, and then in these brackets with a space uh, to both ends, you want to type in token, and equals to require. And now you want to get the file right here, the config.json. To do that, you want to type a dot and a slash. So basically, you know, you can select all the files on the, in this folder and then select the config.json. Uh, so now we have the token. We can use the token variable and the Discord variable. Now, first off, we want to make a client. To do this, I'm going to type in const client, for example, equals to new discord, oops, uh, equals to new discord. Oh, I typed discord here on accident. I'm going to change this to discord. New discord dot client. You see it right here, already client. And then in these brackets, um, we're going to in put in the... Uh, uh, in intents and uh, you might be asking my, me what are intents. Uh, let me show you. So if you go on uh, discord.js.org slash hashtag slash docs right here and then select here select the version you use. I'm using the 13 um, and then search for example intents there. Um, so this basically shows you everything. So these are all the flags, all the intents you will ever need for your bot. So you won't need more. There are a few more. Um, if you go here on the Discord developer portal, there are some more, but you really don't need that. Like you don't need really need them, except if you wanted to uh, do specific things. Like you really don't need this. Um, yeah, the, this is all you will need for a Discord bot to work as a, you want it to work. So uh, you can basically just put in all the intents for this. So basically, uh, type in those brackets again, and then here type intents. And then you wanna put in, you can also like, uh, what I like to do is do like this, and then intents. And then these brackets. And then in here there's gonna be all the intents. So you can basically just copy these. It's going to be Discord, because the Discord.js variable is Discord. So Discord, 
uh, intense, oops, intense dot flags dot, and here are all the intents you will need except these ABC things, these are variables. But other than that, these are all the, the intents you will, you were able to actually put in your Discord bot. So I just recommend you do all of this. So I recommend you pasting um, it until the dot. And don't forget to put a comma after it and then just put it like this. Click, press dot and just do this. So just do this all over again until you've put uh, every single intent um, into the file and so that your bot can access all of these. Alright, so uh, this is basically the full list right here. So um, once you've done this, basically you can type in like uh, client dot on, and then these brackets you want to type ready. This is basically this occurs if the bot is online, and the comma, these brackets, and then an error function. And in here you can type like console dot log. And then um, I'm going to tell you a bit about JavaScript. So there are a few quotations, basically the double quotations and the single quotations, for example. These all do the same. So it doesn't matter if you use uh, either these or um, the other ones. Um, but there, are also, there is also more. For example, these. These are brackets. They are basically, uh, for me, they are like... Uh, on the left next to my backspace, but I have a German keyboard, so I don't really know where it is for you guys, if you have like an English keyboard, for example. Um, but you can just uh, search where these are, or look on other YouTube tutorials which have like English keyboards. Anyway, the, in these, you can actually do something else. You can put in um, variables, for example, Discord. So if you want to put in like, uh, the, the way you put it in is by a dollar sign. And these um, these brackets, and then you can type in like Discord, or just or just simply client. Um, but it won't work with these brackets, uh, with these uh, quotations. It will only work with these. And as you can see, it already looks way you know more used if I do it like this. You want to put client dot user dot tag, and then is now online. For example, like this. If these would be normal quotations, it would not work. But like this, it will work. Um, so then you want to type in client dot login token in these brackets token. Um, then you can save it by pressing Control S, or you can just click File on the top and click on Save All. Oh, oh my God! Click Save All to finish all uh, to save all the files. Then you want to go on the terminal. There are also um, key binds for that. And then you want to type in node index.js. You can also go into the package.json, and if the main file is index.js, which it should be, um, you can also do node dot. Then, let's just wait a little bit, and it will say, I'm very cool, hashtag blah blah blah, is now online. If we look on Discord real quick, discord.com slash app, if we just look here real quick, if I go in the server, as you can see, the bot is now online, as you can see it right here. So that was it with this video. Um, in this video I just showed you how to set it up. I might do more tutorials like these uh, if I feel like it. Uh, so yeah, leave me some uh, ideas what I should do with this bot. Uh, leave me some ideas in the comments below and I'll you know teach you a bit about you know how to do this. Um,
so yeah leave me ideas and i'll see you in the next video bye bye